So much of human culture is built on cooperation. Language, art, technology, even our social structures thrive on our ability to work together. But you don't need to build a house or write an epic poem to create a society. Just ask the bottlenose whales. These guys have been getting together in pods numbering up to 12 or more individuals for hundreds of years. And we humans only recently started to appreciate just how complicated their lives are. So forget everything you thought you knew about animal intelligence. What you're about to see will change everything. Here's a look at life inside the most sophisticated societies on Earth. It's me and you're watching this channel. If you've ever seen a group of dolphins swimming together, you know they're graceful, playful, and super cute. But if you ever hear a group of bottlenose whales vocalizing together, you know they're definitely less cute. These sounds are anything but adorable. Researchers have spent decades trying to understand the language of the deep, piecing together the meaning of the clicks, whistles, and posed calls these whales make. Some sounds are made by both males and females, while others are produced only by one sex. These sounds can last anywhere from a few seconds to over 10 minutes and may be produced during mating rituals, though scientists haven't actually observed a bottlenose whale mating underwater, so it's hard to say for sure. Some sounds are used to identify individuals and maintain contact between mothers and calves, while others are used to bring attention to potential predators. Using AI, researchers are able to map out these soundscapes and learn more about how these whales communicate. Each pod has its own distinct dialect, kind of like a regional accent, which helps scientists keep track of them across their vast range. In fact, bottlenose whales are found in oceans and seas around the globe. They're highly adaptable, thriving in both cold and warm waters from the Arctic to the tropics. As long as there's food, they're happy. And with their diverse diet of fish and squid, there's plenty to eat. That means bottlenose whales can live almost anywhere humans do, which brings them into regular contact with us. Unfortunately, as much as we love these guys, We've done a number on their population. Thanks to centuries of whaling, there are fewer bottlenose whales today than there were in the past. And as their numbers continue to decline, understanding their behavior becomes increasingly urgent. Fortunately, thanks to cutting-edge research, we're learning more about these amazing animals than ever before. Most recently, Scientists have begun unraveling the secrets of their sophisticated social lives, specifically how individual whales interact to form cooperative groups. Marine biologists working in the waters off Western Australia have had an up-close view of these interactions and they are shedding new light on the complexity of bottlenose whale pods. These researchers have observed pods of up to 12 whales working together to herd fish into tight balls, making feeding easier for everyone. And that's just one example of cooperation within the pod. Bottlenose whales often work together to care for the young, helping to raise the next generation. The mothers in the pod will take turns watching over the calves while the others go off to feed and the males will defend the entire group against any potential threats. They also use coordinated movements to drive their prey below the surface, creating a bubble net to trap fish and krill. This herding behavior has not been seen in any other marine mammal species, and it is all thanks to the power of the pod. In a group setting, the whales can cover more ground and drive their prey into smaller and smaller groups. This makes hunting much easier, 
especially for endangered species of fish and squid. And with more food comes more energy. Pods of bottlenose whales have been spotted leaping and playing, likely doing so with more frequency and intensity than solitary whales. After all, when you're working hard to corral your dinner, you gotta have some fun. But these groups aren't without their complications. Like any social group, members of a bottlenose whale pod sometimes clash, creating tense standoffs that can last for hours. During these confrontations, the whales will vocalize, spy hop, basically peer above the surface to get a better view of their surroundings and even strike the surface of the water with their tails. Eventually, though, things settle down and the group swims off to hunt, play or socialize. Scientists are still working to understand the specifics of these interactions, but they know that each pod has a loose hierarchy with individuals taking turns at the top. Sometimes an especially large male will dominate, while at other times a female will assert herself. Despite these occasional clashes, living in a pod offers many advantages. Pods allow the whales to share information, cooperate in hunting and protect the young. The benefits are clear. And as long as there's food and little competition, it seems likely that bottlenose whale pods will continue to thrive. Thanks for watching. If you want to help protect these amazing creatures, visit our website to learn about current threats to their populations and what you can do to help. Until next time, remember, we are all connected.